BJ is a 40 year old man who has just bought his first equatorial mount. He's taken some great photos of the moon using his simple alt azimuth mount, but now he's spent his life savings and bought his first Skywatcher equatorial mount. But something's wrong. He sets up the mount and the stars keep moving out of frame. All of his images are streaky. His guiding won't work properly. He notices a sharp stabbing pain in his kidneys and he's rushed to the emergency room where we are now. Doctors draw blood and tests show he has acute punctum anemia. Punctum being Latin for pointing, A meaning a lack of, and emia meaning presence in blood. Now this situation is familiar for all of us astrophotographers. Anyone who has made that transition from an alt azimuth mount to an equatorial mount, it is the number one joy killer for all new astronomers. Polar aligning can put us back by months as we try and figure out how do we get our new equatorial mount actually polar aligned so that we can guide properly and track the stars properly. Uh, the thing is, most people don't know that even though there are all of these solutions out there and equipment you can buy and polar scopes and drift align and all these voodoo methods, it's actually built into the hand controller and it's super easy, it's super quick, it's super accurate and you don't even need the pole. So I'm gonna step you through my process I'm gonna make a lot of mistakes, but I'll edit them out and pretend that they never happened so that this is a useful video for you guys when you forget about how to do this and you wanna learn how to do it yourself. All right, my name is Dylan O'Donnell and you're watching Star Stuff. Before you polar align, make sure that whatever you see through your eyepiece or through the camera is exactly what you see through the finder scope. Okay, now we're going to turn on the mount. Initializing, start from park, no. We want to auto slew home, yes, if you have encoders. If it knows where the home position is, it will go back to home. Home position established. Add deck offset, no. Enter again, it'll give you a warning. Uh, then you need to set your longitude and latitude, time zone, elevation, the date, the time, and enter. Daylight savings, not right now. Begin alignment, yes. Now you want to do a three star alignment if you can. Enter, it's going to pick some stars. If you know that some of these stars are not visible, then uh, just pick one that you know is visible. The telescope will slew around to that star. And at this point, the hand controller will be asking you to use the arrow buttons to center in the eyepiece. So we want to find the star and we want to get it onto our screen or eyepiece, reticle, whatever. Uh, you'll find with the first star, it's probably not there. Uh, you can change the rate if the rate is too slow. So I hit rate eight and you can slow that down as you go and you want to get the star centered into the view. Use your finder scope for this, uh, makes it a lot easier. Now I've got the star in view, so I'm just going to set the rate on the hand controller to two to make it a bit slower and gently nudge it in until it's at the center. Once it's close enough, you can just hit enter on the hand controller. It'll then search for the next star. And again, it'll suggest some, but if you know that uh, some of them aren't visible to you, just scroll through until you find a star that you know is visible and continue through the process. Basically just repeat that alignment for the next couple of stars. And third star, alignment successful, gives you a warning. Uh, now we want to go into, I think it's utility again, to go back into the alignment menu. And we want to go down to 
whole lot of alignment and then it prompts you to choose a star you can choose the one you were on or in this case a different one so I'll just hit that one and see where it takes us now it's slewed over to that star it wants me to align on that object with the arrow keys it's already pretty well aligned in the center there so I'm just gonna hit enter but otherwise you'd use your up down left right get it in the center there hit enter gives you an error and then just hit enter again and it will slew away from the star you can see the star is off the screen now and it'll ask you to adjust the altitude knob so you want to adjust the altitude of the scope to get that star back in frame in my case it's going to be this one here altitude I think of is a mountain so up and down so I'm going to try and get that star back in somewhere on this screen only using that altitude adjustment and if the stars not in view uh, like this because it's way out of frame then the finder scope is handy as well Now that I've done that adjustment, I'll just hit enter. It comes up with the second error and it's slewing again. This time it will want us to adjust on the azimuth bolts. Azimuth are these two bolts here. These are the adjustments that go left and right, sort of parallel to the horizon. Adjust the azimuth knobs only. So I'm going to fiddle with those green knobs now, look through the finder scope, and try and get the star back into view there. Now I'm just going to hit enter and that's it, we're done. Polar aligned baby. I've done that a few times. If you are in an observatory situation, I do recommend maybe doing that a few times over a few nights because the more you do it, the more you kind of get closer and closer to near perfect polar alignment. If you're in the field, this is probably good enough just to uh, start guiding, start doing your go-tos. Everything should work pretty well. Plate sole should be fine. Once you nail polar alignment, everything sort of falls into place. Hopefully this hands-on tutorial video, this demonstration helps you with your Skywatch mount because it will work with any Skywatch mount and that process is built into the hand controller. You don't even need the hand controller after this, you can just plug it into a computer and let the computer do the rest or you can use a hand controller. But right now the mount is tracking beautifully because it is polar aligned with no pole star and aligned on various different random stars in the sky. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that demo my name is Dylan O'Donnell, you've been watching Star Stuff. Remember, everything is meaningless, and we're all going to die. <laughs>